Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Tomorrow I am flying to Vancouver and I could not be more excited. I haven't been out of my province in over two years. <laughs> Actually no longer than that. I think my last trip I flew to Newfoundland and my gosh that was like years and years and years ago. So regardless I'm incredibly excited. But first I have to pack. Ugh. I hate packing but I am the most excited a person could be to pack because I got myself a new luggage set that's really exciting my old luggage set is like this old red fabric it's filthy I really wanted like a hardcover case to protect my belongings more and this is just like the luggage set of dreams I'm hoping for this trip though I'm only going to pack the one I'm even a carry-on, I don't want to carry on. I hate lugging that around the airport and having to drag it onto the like small aisle on the airplane and have to lift it up over your head. I just I don't want to bother with that. So hopefully I can get it all into this case and I, I'm hopeful I can do it because I got myself some packing cubes, a whole bunch of little containers to pack my beauty products, and I just kind of have a system in place this time around for being more organized, having being able to compress it and be more compact, and I thought I would show you and take you along the journey. So come on, let's pack. Hop to it. <laughs> First things first is lists. I literally cannot live without to-do lists and checklists and reminder lists. And the way I keep myself organized is with the Google Keep app. I used to use the Notes app on Apple, but I discovered Google Keep. And you can keep all your notes color coordinated. You can label them for work, personal, etc. Like honestly, the best app ever. So my to pack for Vancouver list, I have it, everything here. You know, the weeks or days coming up to your trip, random things will pop in your head like, oh, I can't forget that. Oh, I should pack that. Write it down, put it on your list, and that way you will not forget. One of the things is to get everything charged and ready to go for the night before. So tonight I'm going to charge my wireless earbuds. I'm going to charge all my camera batteries because I'm going to be vlogging the trip. Maybe the like clip on ring light if I'm doing like selfies or something. So yeah, get everything charged that you would need for your trip. I don't really make a list of the clothes that I'm going to pack. I'll show you here in a second exactly how I plan my outfits and get them ready for packing. But if anything comes in my mind like a rain jacket, an umbrella, stuff like that, I will definitely put it on the list. But this is how I plan my outfits. Bear with me here. This looks like a complete mess, but it is organized chaos, I promise. So I lay my outfits into piles. So this is outfit number one, outfit number two, three, four five and six and the reason why I lay them out is so that you can make sure you have everything you need for each outfit you know I have the shoes that I want to wear with this outfit the shoes and the sunglasses that I want to wear with this outfit I put you know a specific hair clip and a waist belt and shoes that I want to wear with that outfit or if you you know need like seamless underwear or a specific bra or something to wear with a specific outfit you lay it all out and that way you don't miss a thing. So once I have all my outfits picked out, what I do is I actually take selfies of me wearing them. And then that way I have just like a quick view of what I have in my suitcase. I know exactly what outfit I could wear and it just keeps everything organized and easy to understand what the heck you're gonna be wearing while you're on vacation. Now, I am very aware that the amount of shoes and the amount of clothes that I'm bringing with me is excessive, but it is the nature of my job. Being a fashion blogger and everything, I definitely want to be taking photos of tons of outfits and you know do outfit inspo and create content for you guys. So the amount of shoes and stuff I'm packing is way, way too much. But what I do recommend, try to pack shoes and, you know, shirts or pants that can be worn multiple times with multiple outfits. I mean, this is kind of a bad example, but these shoes right here, I'm actually going to be wearing them with two outfits. So this is one outfit here and this is another outfit here that luckily I can wear the same boots with them. That's a good way of kind of condensing the amount that you're packing is pack clothes that are versatile. And another thing is to wear neutral colors because all the neutral tones can be mixed matched and paired with each other too. So that's another tip wear neutrals. <laughs> so if you have all your outfit piles laid out and you have all the accessories laid out, you know you want to wear a specific 
necklace with a specific outfit or a certain watch or something you could then start to pack it up in a jewelry travel case i do not know how i survived so many years without a jewelry travel case even to just go out to the lake for a weekend what the heck are you doing with your jewelry my necklaces used to get all tangled up with each other so i found this jewelry case at winners years ago but i'll link something similar down below and literally it is a jewelry box and it keeps all your delicates nice and safe and organized and your necklaces and stuff won't get tangled up so uh, this one in particular has a bunch of different compartments some slots for your rings you know this is a necklace in this bag I'll just put the bag in that little pouch there um, a watch for example instead of packing this entire watch box I can take out the little pillow and put it in there and then I can have all my jewelry in one place and it's nice and safe and sound so I think the boots that I'm bringing is going to be taking up the most space in this suitcase so I might have to take a carry-on I'm not sure but what I do have is packing cubes and there's tons of options to choose from tons of colorways but I am a very plain Jane boring person the suitcase is like brown on the inside so I thought I would just go with the most neutral color so it comes with a whole bunch of bags a shoe bag there's like a toiletry bag I think there's some laundry bags so you can separate your clean underwear from your dirty underwear <laughs> and then packing cubes to pack your clothes and then it keeps your clothes nice and tight and it's not being pushed around your suitcase and getting all wrinkly and everything one more night one more night say it's gonna be okay because this winter is so long feels like it's haunting me say there's gonna be a change because i feel like I'm just as of right now it's kind of looking like i might have to bring my carry-on because i've got all my clothes and boots and jackets in the suitcase and there's not a whole lot of room left for my toiletries and stuff so we'll see like once I get it all packed I can play around with it uh, but this is what it looks like right now so honestly this time of year packing and traveling for the winter is never fun because you're packing such thick heavy stuff and I'm also packing excessive like I mentioned before like I would normally would not pack a massive teddy coat and massive boots like this but this is how I have the boots laid out right now they're brand new and they're super clean but once I wear them and then I'm packing to return home I can just put like grocery bags around the bottom so it doesn't dirty up any clothes or dirty up the suitcase or anything so I have like the bulkiest items on this side I'll just put my belt in here and then I have this bag set aside for dirty laundry as the days go on and then these packing cubes I'm actually really impressed they even have like clips on the inside to you know make it even more compact so I got all the clothes there I put my socks a hat and my sunglasses all in the same bag so that the sunglasses have like a bit of protection with the socks you know a bit of cushioning and then I have a pair of block heels in that bag so that is it for clothes this big giant teddy coat I think I'll just like lay it flat on top the suitcase is expandable so it will close nicely and I can make it bigger if I need but um, it's looking like I might need my carry-on another new thing that I got to pack my camera and stuff is a camera travel case now I was not expecting it to be this big but I'm glad it has tons of room because right now how I'm currently packing my camera equipment is in a Ziploc bag so I've got the charger some memory cards extra batteries and then obviously the camera itself which you are on now I can pack it up it'll be nice and safe in my suitcase and everything will be together and not just for travel either for my everyday storage because this has got to go <laughs> brilliant got everything in there except for the camera obviously the camera will sit here there's pockets for the batteries memory cards some extra cables and for the sake of this trip I think I'm actually gonna put my iPhone charger in there and any other electronic type stuff I'm gonna put it in here for my trip and then it zips up 
and it will fit in the suitcase nicely. Okay, moving on to beauty, I got these really neat little travel containers for your beauty products so that you're not bringing full-size bottles of all your toiletries. This one is by the brand Kitsch. They had a pink one as well. This travel set is so cool. It comes with a spray bottle, a pump bottle, two mini jars, three flat pouches for your body wash, shampoo, and conditioner, and then all the tools you need to fill up the containers, which I think is so handy. So these three containers, I don't think I'm going to use them for this trip because my trip is really short. And plus, I'm going to my sister's house. She has all this. She's got body wash, shampoo, and conditioner, so there's no need for me to pack it. And luckily enough, she also has a hair dryer, a flat iron. I don't think she's got a curling iron, but she's got enough so that will definitely save me packing space but I am particular with my shampoo so I am going to bring my own but instead of filling up one of these because I really don't need to bring that much I'm going to put my shampoo in the little sample that I have so I was given this sample shampoo uh, by Lucier Dermatology and I fell in love with it so I bought a full-size bottle but that's another tip. Hang on to these little small sample bottles that you get because you can reuse them. So I'm going to pour, because this is empty now, I'm going to pour some shampoo into here and then I have just like a little travel size bottle which is amazing. Another thing you can do is hang on to shampoo and conditioner sample packets. I got this from Sephora so this is also a great way to pack shampoo and conditioner and then like any samples you get, hang on to your samples. For example, I just recently got these two samples of eye cream from Shoppers Drug Mart. These are going to be my eye creams while I'm on my trip because the eye cream that I do use is the Skin Medica TNS Eye Repair. Love this eye cream, highly recommend. But this container is so heavy, it is unbelievable. So, and I don't need to bring this much eye cream with me on a five day trip. So I could easily scoop my eye cream into one of these. But because my trip is so short, I'm just going to bring one of these or both little sample packages and I'll use this as my eye cream on my trip. You can also get tons of travel size bottles at Shoppers Drug Mart. Just about any place that sells full size bottles has like a whole section dedicated to travel. Uh, the Shoppers Drug Mart I went to the other day had a huge section and they actually had some really cool stuff. They had travel size Saint Tropez sunless tanner, little packages of makeup removing wipes. There's all kinds of cleansers and hairsprays and you name it. If the hairspray you use is not aerosol based and you can actually open up the container, you could easily pour it into this spray bottle that comes in the kit. What I'm going to use the spray bottle for is my Cuvée Beauty Volumizing Mist. This is the best volumizing hair product I've ever used. So I'm going to pour this into the spray bottle. My sunscreen, I think I'm just going to bring the whole container because I don't want to compromise the potency of it by putting it into a container and exposing it to oxygen and stuff. So I'm going to bring my whole container of sunscreen just to be safe. I've got a little travel size toothpaste. I got this as a sample from my dentist. They always give you toothbrushes and toothpaste and even little mouthwashes. Keep all that from your dentist. My face wash, I'm going to pump that into this little pump bottle. How perfect is that? And then my day cream, I'm going to put this into one of these little jars. This little pump bottle, what am I going to use this for? This would be really good for a day cream too, but I don't think I need that much day cream. Oh, you know what? I might actually use this for my Bioderma micellar water. If you watched my last video, I have gone from the Kirkland makeup removing wipes to micellar water just to be more gentle on my skin. The makeup removing wipes would obviously be way easier to travel with, but because my skin is not my friend right now, I'm definitely going to bring the micellar water, so I'll probably put it in this little pump bottle. So I'll have to pack gauze pads as well. And then some other tips I have for samples perfume samples. Look at all these perfume bottles that I have. So all these little perfume bottles are so tiny, so easy to pack because how do you put your perfume in a travel package? You can't really. So perfume samples, awesome way to bring some on your trip. And then another thing I recommend is Steripods. Steripods. So it just clips under your toothbrush so it keeps it nice and clean, but it also sterilizes it. There's like a little thing inside that 
actually sterilizes your toothbrush and then protects it while you travel so i love that for traveling and then while i was grabbing that i also remembered i have like a little plastic case for q-tips i'm pretty sure i got this at dollarama hairbrush i got this little travel hairbrush oh my gosh <laughs> it's full of my hair um i got this little travel hairbrush from sephora if it's still available i'll link it down below i'm not sure if they still sell it or not if not i'll link something similar i guess but it literally is just a really tiny fold up brush it has a mirror on it and then you just pop out the brush brush your hair touch up your lipstick and then you're on your way this is even good to throw in your purse for everyday use too, not just for travel. So this is actually something really cool. With the pump bottle, it actually comes with that clip so that when you're traveling, it doesn't get pushed down at all. And then you can just clip it back on when you're done. And that is genius. got everything in the bottles and I ended up pulling out my handy label maker to label some of the products because I don't want to mix them up and I'm sure I wouldn't but like the day cream and the night cream for example this would be very easy to mix up which one was which and I didn't worry about putting the brand or what type of volume mist or what type of micellar water is it. I just wanted to make sure I didn't you know put volume mist on my face and micellar water in my hair <laughs> So got all that product there, got my shampoo filled up, my eye cream samples, and I think this is the perfume sample I'm going to bring with me, the Tiffany & Co. Love. It smells so fresh. That is what I'm going to pack for my toiletries, and now let's move on to makeup. When it comes to packing makeup, this is also something that I'm going to be excessive with and I'm going to pack a lot of. <laughs> so I uh, can't really give you any tips on packing less makeup. Well, actually, if you have some type of kit like this, this is actually broken, so I have to be careful, where it has tons of eyeshadow, it has the blusher, bronzer, contour, highlighter, all in one kit. This is actually a really great way of traveling with lots of makeup because you have everything you need. I'm not going to pack this for my trip, but that is one way of kind of saving space for makeup. So I use the Sephora Collection makeup bag. I've had this for a while now. I'll link it down below if it's still available, but this has been so amazing. So it has all the different compartments. It even has uh, little slots for your makeup brushes. I'm not going to use this for my makeup brushes because this is all my makeup brushes. Now I'm not packing all my makeup brushes. Um, but I use the travel kit that came with the set. So I have the Sigma Chrome collection and it came in this wonderful travel case. And I also like to clean my brushes before putting them in something like this because I don't want to seal it up and then it become like a Petri dish and then I'm putting that all over my face because my skin acts up on me. My skin... I have to do the most, okay? For my makeup sponge, I actually have the Sephora Collection little makeup sponge holder. The makeup sponge that I'm currently using, I'm going to throw this in the garbage because it's time for a new one. I absolutely love the Beaky sponges on Amazon. This is the last one out of my set, and the yellow one is actually my least favorite out of them all. I don't know, the yellow just seemed dirtier like it looks dirtier than all the other colors I'm gonna toss this one and gonna get a new one my mom actually gifted me a three pack makeup sponge set for christmas so cute it's from quo and i love the colors on these so i'll give these sponges a try but before i put a brand new fresh makeup sponge in here i'm just gonna spray it with rubbing alcohol and make sure it's sterile and all clean because like i said my skin hates me and i have to do everything right this was the first one to come out and I will put it in there. Perfect for travel. And then it has all the little holes so that it can breathe and it's not 
like airtight and just festering with bacteria so love that so how i pack my makeup is tomorrow morning as i'm putting my makeup on each item and each brush that i use i set aside that way you won't forget anything your each step you use from your foundation to your powder to your blush to your bronzer to your eyeshadow to your mascara as you're using each individual item you set it aside and then when you're done doing your makeup put it all in your bags and then that way you don't forget anything okay to clean my brushes I know this is not a makeup brush cleaning video but I thought that I would just show you real quick so I use this silicone scrubby pad that I got from Sephora and I love the little handle so you can just slip it on your hand when you're scrubbing your brushes um, I use the Johnson's baby shampoo I've used this for a long time and love it as you can see I only have like a tiny little bit left in this jumbo size bottle uh, but any gentle cleanser will do um, but the trick is with your foundation brush Cleansing a foundation brush is torture, but I found the trick. It's cleansing oil, and you could use any cleansing oil. Get the cheapest one you can find if you're using it for your brushes. I have the Babor cleansing oil. Now, this is very bougie, a very expensive cleansing oil, but it was gifted to me when I worked at Spa by JW, and I cannot use oil cleansers on my skin. So instead of wasting this, I will use it to clean my foundation brush, and it has done wonders. The only thing is you have to make sure you cleanse your foundation brush with soapy water after to get the oil out of the brush, but that is what I do to clean my brushes. But not least okay I'm gonna cut the price tags off my luggage I definitely do not need these on here anymore um, I got some luggage locks these keep the honest thieves out I mean if someone really wanted to get into your luggage this is not going to stop them but at least it's a deterrent definitely wanted to get some luggage locks and I think these are really cute because they're white and they'll match the luggage set I got these in particular because they have the combo code as well as the keys I didn't want to get ones that are just key lock because what if you lose the key and I didn't want to get ones that are just combo lock because the combo lock sometimes they like lock up on you and it, when you put in your code it doesn't work so if the code doesn't work at least I have the key if I lose the key at least I have the code so I just like that it has both options and then the next thing I really needed was luggage tags oh knock on wood I don't want to jinx myself uh, if my luggage is misplaced at least you will be able to have my name and address and identify my luggage so I'll write all my information on that and it's not a perfect match to the luggage set but it's close enough I believe this is genuine leather I'm not too sure and this particular luggage tag set had really bad reviews on Amazon but I couldn't find anything that would somewhat match my luggage set and Amazon has a really good return policy so I was like you know what I'm just gonna order them and if they're as bad as people say then I'll just return them and they're great there's nothing wrong with them so that's a win my luggage that I'm checking in can be up to 50 pounds if it's over 50 pounds I have to pay an additional fee and it can get pretty expensive and I have a lot of stuff in my suitcase right now and it's not even fully packed I've still got to pack my makeup and stuff tomorrow morning so to know how much your luggage weighs I found a really cool gadget that will weigh your suitcase for you so that you don't have any surprises when you go to the airport I got this from Amazon and I have no idea how to use it it says max 50 kg 110 pounds if my luggage weighs 110 pounds or more we're in trouble <laughs> I need your big strong hands she needs big strong wow look at hands. those muscles okay will you lift up on this so the suitcase is completely off the floor and we can see the weight Wow, I'm surprised. So my suitcase is 32.12 pounds. Okay, so I am within the weight range. I can have up to 50 pounds. So 
I am good to go. I might be able to get all of it in one suitcase, which makes me so happy. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everybody. I'm just packing those last few items. I'm about to head out the door and head to the airport, and I'm feeling the pressure of time and whew. Um, but I did want to show you that I ended up not packing like a whole lot of makeup So I got all my makeup in my kit and I had enough room to store the brushes that I'm gonna bring as well So that just kind of saves some space instead of me carrying This zip-up case because I'm not bringing all my makeup brushes. So I was able to compress it all into there and I'm definitely gonna have to bring two suitcases, so I'm just gonna juggle that around a little bit and get out the door. Got the suitcases situated, I'm just about to zip them up. I actually had to take some clothes out of one of those packing cubes because it was actually limiting how I was organizing the suitcase. I had to put my tripod and stuff in here and the cube just wasn't fitting. So taking the clothes out of the cube allowed me to just kind of place it on top of like my toiletry bags and one of my purses and stuff so packing cubes I'm not too sure how I feel about them I definitely think they are worthwhile but I think they kind of limit you as to how you organize your bags so not quite too sure how I feel about them but gonna zip up my cases get the locks on I've got the tags on with my name and address written on them already Everything's locked up. I was actually impressed with the locks. They were really easy to like set my own code and get them going. So everything's locked up. I'm out of breath. This is my outfit. So I'm wearing faux leather shorts. It looks like I'm wearing tights, but these are actually fleece lined. So I am roasting like super, super hot. <laughs> A big chunky knit sweater because I'm always cold on an airplane combat boots and then I switched my purse over to a little mini backpack so that I have you know my hands are free and I think it'll be more convenient for travel so that is my traveling outfit and I will see you guys in my next video which is obviously the Vancouver travel vlog thank you so much for watching this video if you have any packing tips definitely put it in the comments down below and I will see you guys in my next video bye One more night, one more night I could fight it through